Oh, look, I, when I watch that, I, I feel for those two guys. I, and I know, I can't believe I say that because of what's happened, but Cameron Bancroft, this is his eighth test match. I can't believe if the leadership leadership group has, has made a decision to do this. That they've gone and get, got the young kid who's played in his eighth test match to do that, you know. As, as a leader, you can't ask somebody to do something you're not willing to do yourself, number one. Um, Steve Smith is such a lovely, lovely guy. It, you can see there, he's just shattered, you know. I just, I, I really feel sorry for him. The bottom line, two things, if I may say. Do you acknowledge that for what it is? Cheating. And the second question is, should he go? The, is it it's, cheating? It's premeditated cheating. It's blatant cheating. Okay. It's disgraceful. It's not accepted by anyone. And particularly in Australian, we've got the best bowling attack in the world. We don't need to cheat to beat okay. anybody. So we've got an Australian cricket captain, premeditated, cold-blooded cheating. Ipso facto, is it not obvious that he must resign? I, I don't think it'd be fair for me, Fitz, to answer that question right now. I think I'm too emotional. I think I'm just going off footage that I've seen. I haven't spoken to any players. I haven't spoken to the Australian captain. I, I think I would need to do a lot more groundwork before I could make that decision. But I can guarantee you... This is, this is not a good look for, um, you know, the leadership group. Well, to me... Who, who is captain, the leadership group? Yeah, well, that, that, that's what I want to know. Well, and yeah. they're all a part of this. They've all made that decision so, and a, a really poor decision. So they've all got to go, really. Well, I, I, in my time... I don't know who the current leadership group is. In, in my time, um, if we had a leadership group, it was captain, vice-captain and coach. But I don't know what the current... Uh, leadership group is. I don't know if they've got other senior players, do they have other support staff? I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, and, and this has probably been my uh, my gripe with Australian cricket over you know the last, let's say, four or five years, I think our structure has changed. When I grew up watching cricket, the captain was in charge of the Australian cricket team, always. My father's team, uh, Mark Taylor's team, Alan Border's team, Steve Waugh's team. Halfway through my captaincy, that changed. They took the coach word out and brought in a head coach. They brought in a high-performance manager. So then you've got board, CEO, high-performance manager, head coach, chairman of selectors, and then the captain. So that blurs accountability. 